today's topic is landslide susceptibility mapping and this is based on my own uh, tutorial which is uh, in my website so you can see here and it has all the details of how to do landslide susceptibility mapping analysis so this analysis is done basically in grass GIS and we need the elevation data and sentinel to uh, image data and in the first part I will explain how to download high resolution DEM data uh, from LOS Pulsar and then I will also tell you about digitizing of landslides. Let us start. This is QGIS and this is the area of interest uh, which I am going to analyze and I have created an extent of uh, this area and saved as KML file. So I will use the search data using Earth data and I have uh, my previous videos where I have explained how to download the data. So only difference is we use uh, the keyword RTC which means radiometric terrain correction and the geometry uh, of the area of extent will be from here so we can see LS Pulsar RTC high resolution and we use this KML and we browse for the file and I have this KML file in this exercise Now we can see that uh, the area of my result, uh, region of interest is shown here and there are 16 matching granules. So I will select the granule which, is, uh, which contains the most area of this uh, region of interest. So, among these 16 data sets, for example, these data sets are not needed. So, we can uh, remove one by one. And I found that this uh, data most uh, which covers the almost whole the area of uh, my region of interest so I will download this one and it can be done simply by clicking here and it is going to be downloaded but I have already downloaded it in my folder so I uh, cancel it here and now I uh, display the elevation data from uh, this exercise so it is inside here. Okay. It is still inside my download folder, so I will move it to my workspace. And I unzip this, and I usually use 7-zip to uh, unzip and zip files. So it is very handy tool, and I recommend 
you all to use this 7-zip this high resolution RTC image has many files some are synthetic aperture radar data and other files so basically it is SAR data but it also consists of this high resolution DEM data so we will use this data and we display it here so we can see that the image is displayed so first of all I will clip the data to the extent of this region of interest so I use raster extraction and clip raster by mask layer and input layer is this layer and mask layer is uh, this so but uh, it may be better to change the resolution of this data to UTM to match this original data so First of all, I will export it as this. And inside this, I use boundary. UTM and save it as 45N and OK. So it is UTM. So I will use this uh, reprojected data. So let us uh, again restart this process input layer is this DEM and mask layer is this UTM both are in the same SRS and all the defaults I have expected and you can uh, use the no data for example minus 9999 for the safety and now I will save the clip file as TIFF I will use GeoTIFF so we can see this clip data set and I will use this data to uh, analyze the landslide susceptibility of this area so first of all we need to find the landslides for this uh, for the simplicity what I do is I divide this area into workable grids so I will create a vector grid and it is rectangular grid so our screen is almost uh, 16 is to 9 so in that ratio I will create grid almost so 
grid extent is the layer of this UTM and so I will round down this and round up the maximum similarly I will round down the minimum longitude and round up the maximum longitude so I will use 8 0 0 0 and horizontal spacing is 1800 and vertical spacing is 1200 so it, this is optional but uh, here it is degrees so we have to change this uh, map projection so simply by changing the map projection we can work with UTM projected grid and it will be in meters so let us try again vector research tools create grid and grid will be rectangle and grid extent is the any of this is okay and we will use uh, I have changed this minimum and maximum values And grid I will save as geo package and and name is grid and now I will export this grid as KML file which we can use in Google Earth. We could have done it uh, during the grid creation process, but anyway, uh, file name is So name field we have to keep so that we can uh, use it in our Google Earth. So let us choose a unique field uh, which so if ID or ID we can choose but before that I will remove uh, the grid which is not overlapping our region of interest. So let us check this. Uh, so extract or location. So we can choose the boundary and features from extract features from the grid which intersect uh, this UTM and then save it geo package so we name it grid v2 So this is the actual grid and now we can see that 
we have 89 filtered grids and we will find landslide in each uh, grid cell. Or we can create one more field uh, name it and then it text string and we modify it by So it will be like grid 0, 1, grid 0, 2, or we can have three positions, so grid 1, 0, 0, 1. So if we choose, it will be like this. So, OK. And save it. Now we can choose this for the name. Now let us uh, import, export it as KML. So and name field we choose this read okay so we have just created this file and when we double click this one we can see that the grid is created here so I, I will remove this one this bidur bid dot kml file we can see that grid cell are named like this so we can check one by one whether there are landslide or not that will be much easier So there are no landslide. And now we uh, create one more place. In the previous also I have done this same exercise so there it is remaining here. So let us create one folder. and name it and I will put all the digitized data inside this file so I will show you how to digitize it So we can see some landslide here. So actually it should be uh, done by uh, clicking each of the grid and so that we remember which uh, area is already covered. So we can see that this is landslide area and it might have been created by this 
road anyway we digitize this area and by adding a polygon we can uh, for example uh, we can name it ls1 and we can change the style color of lines like blue and color of inside this and we make, make the op opacity like 40 percent and then while this is uh, visible we draw the polygon and we can see that uh, the landslide is behind this uh, transparent polygon so finally So th this is created. Similar way we can uh, create other uh, landslides. So we will check, I will tell you, uh, I have already told you how to digitize and after this I will do it by clicking every single grid and then checking whether there are landslide or not. So I will show you the uh, finished landslide polygons in my next slide and next tutorial and uh, we will start the next part of this tutorial in my next video. And finally, after creating all the landslides, we will save it as KML, uh, which can be, or KMZ, which we can use in QGIS or Grass GIS. So for the time being, I am not going to save it uh, because the digitizing is not finished yet. This is the end of uh, first part and the next part is coming soon.